I donate because it's one way that I can give back to the community without any, uh, almost anonymously, so I could just help people that I don't know and who don't know me, whose lives that I can impact and, and save. I've done the whole blood, I've done apheresis, I've done granular sites, I've done whatever people need. I, I, if I can, I do it to, to help other people so they can live for another day. Back to about uh, uh, 1992, a really good friend of mine at Southern California Edison, uh, where I used to work, his wife was, was deathly ill in a hospital and she needed, um, I have to be a perfect match for the blood and it, it virtually saved her life. And so from that point on about 92, I started donating blood and then a, another friend of mine had already been donating. So then we got in competition with each other so he was gonna do, do, donate a gallon first and then so forth and so on. Now I think I'm up to like 12 gallons of blood over, over 120 donations. I'm retired and I've, I've had dreams to move out of state for several years and I've been taking care of my mom for the last five or six years and unfortunately she passed away recently and that freed me up to live the rest of my dreams now and that is to uh, just find other pursuits of my, you know, somewhere else. The staff is great, uh, I've made a lot of friends here and I'm comfortable being here. There's, there's, there's nothing scary about it. You come on the right days, you get sandwiches. <laughs>